guys are doing awesome. Hello, hello JR, hello Equin, happy Sunday. Hello Jay. <laughs> well, um, welcome to another um, edition of the TN Talk Show. Um, yeah, last week was amazing. We had about four thousand and a hundred views, and uh, we had so many people coming and uh, chipping. So I want to say thank you so much. So today, yeah, we are again with another topic which was highly, highly requested, and uh, today's topic is why are women more attracted to men with money? Yeah, so <laughs> this is going to be very funny. Hello, son of man. I see Tenno is watching us and uh, Valeria Tia too. Hello, guys. Hello, princess. Mwah. So today's topic is amazing, okay? I just want us to go right into it. We don't have time to waste because we just have two hours together. And I know people want to comment and, uh, you know, chip in. So today's topic is why are women more attracted to men with money? So the question is not if women are attracted to men with money. No, we have already established that fact that ladies tend to go towards men with money more. Now, it's not me saying it. It's society that has said it because in songs, we have people sing it. Bless Bliss sang it in Clando that she's looking for money. We have people from across the globe saying they're looking for money. Davido says 30 billion in my account is for the ladies. Yemi Alida says, if you love me, buy me Ferrari. So it's not like I am saying it. It's been established that um, women tend to tilt their attention more to men that have money. So the question now is, yeah, why do women go to these men more as compared to other men? We are not saying all the ladies do that. No, we are saying majority of the ladies tend to go to the guys that have money more vis-a-vis -vis like the broke guy or the, you know, the not so wealthy or rich guy. So let's say a big shout out to Dude Cool. Um, we have T, T Sam watching us. Frank Frank is also watching us. Son of mine is already there. On <laughs> ready to comment. <laughs> Hello, Chair Ignatius. So we already established that women tend to tilt their attention more to men who are financially okay. We have who have money, who are stable financially. Now the question today is why? So today's topic is why do ladies tend to go more for men that have money? Is it because of the financial stability? Is it because they want to be catered for? Is it because they are materialistic? Is it because it's the role of a man to provide for a woman? Or is it just because they are pantes, in quotes, um, you know, whores, uh, free girls who want to like go catch a big fish? What's your opinion about it? That's today's topic. I want the comments to start rolling in. I want the, the connections to come in. The, the, uh, I want to bring people on camera to give us their opinions. We have so many people already on standby trying to connect with us. We have um, Drew, um, Kiven watching us. Hello, Kiven. Um, let's see. Demo Derek is watching us. Hello, Demo Derek. So today's topic is why do ladies tend to go more for the wealthy guys as compared to the not so well to guys let me not say poor guys is it because they are not psychologically ready to endure with a poor guy to say okay baby we only have 1000 francs and we're gonna buy rice for 50 and then tomatoes for 100 and then fish for 50 and then we'll eat for a week or is it like they want the comfort of having a man who provides everything for them and is it like um, Dutko says, Cindy, please tell us what your sisters say, <laughs> why your sisters like money. Motapang is watching us. Hello, Motapang. Frank says, women love comfort. Okay. So we already have the opinions coming in. Frank says, um, the reason why ladies tend to go for men who have money is because ladies like comfort. And uh, we have Bentley watching us. Hello. We have Christian watching us. Hello, Christian. So, um... Let's talk about Frank's point. Frank is saying ladies tend to go for men with money because they want comfort. And what do you mean by comfort? Do we mean by the um, the shoes, the trips, the house rent paid, um, the classy clothing? Is it is it because of that reason that um, a lady tends to go for a, a comfortable man when it comes to his financial stages? So I'm waiting for Frank um, to comment and tell me and tell me um, his opinion. So I don't know if you guys are ready to come on camera. I see so many people on standby. If you're ready to come on camera and give your opinion, just click, I'll ring you up, and we have a one-on-one -on -one talk, okay? So um, Bentley says they are, they are after financial security and nothing is wrong with security. 
Okay, so Bentley is like, there's nothing wrong with a lady um, being in need of financial security. And this financial security comes when she dates someone who is financially secured. So it's fair enough, right? It's, it's, not, it's not complicated. Let's do the math. If you want to be financially secure, who has financial security? So indirectly, the financial security comes to you. So, and he says there's nothing wrong with that. So we have our very first Kanla. He's Frank. Hello. Can you get me? Hello, Frank. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. I miss oh, I'm sorry, my room is dead right now, so. Okay. But I'm just going to talk. Okay, I, I, I was talking about comfort, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to go far. Let's just see the 8th of March. It's soon at the corners. You need to see the kind of designer or uh, uh, fabrics women are getting and it's like kind of a competition so that's what i'm talking about if you have, if you have a rich guy so normally you're 100 percent sure that you're gonna look good in the day who doesn't want to look good in the day even my mom she makes her nails and stuff like that make her hair okay so that's one point of being comfortable okay you see there's this aspect of women i wanted to see another point like peer pressure but this one is mostly on the younger women Younger girls, okay, this girl is going to see her boyfriend, her friend's boyfriend provides everything for her. And she's, she's like, she's going to get mad at you. You broke, broke nigga, what can you give me? Like, look at that girl, her guy picks, picks her up, you know, and stuff like that. So women like comfort in every situation, in every situation, women like, like, I can't just explain. They were more, like, women who were pregnant, men. <laughs> Just wants a nugget and they need comfort, they need like everything, air conditioner, like everything, anything that's gonna make them comfortable. Yeah. So that, that that was my point. All right. Thank you so much, Frank. Frank just called to give us a little bit of a oh, what did I touch? Okay. <laughs> Frank just called to give us a little bit of a, an explanation when he said women like comfort. And let's take a few um a few comments. Um Caleb says um, uh, women like comfort, but some of them exaggerated. We have Wazal watching us. Hello, Princess says, dude, not try me or no be because we're not there over us. Show say, what I over show says, okay. Quenty says, um, now let me wow, Quenty, your comment is super long. I'll try and take it a few minutes later. Um, we have Christopher watching us, um, Christopher watching us, Ines is watching us, Valentine. Hello, Valentine, welcome to um, another episode of the TN Talk Show. So, let's talk a little bit about uh, what Frank said that. A lady likes comfort and take for example the eight of March is coming on. She wants to be she wants to be sure and certain that she'll be able to look good, that her man will be able to provide for her to look good on that day. And he also went around uh, went around and said, ladies love competition. And because of that reason, if your friend is wearing like something super expensive that her man bought for her, you look at your broke guy and be like, Why can't you buy me that kind of thing also? So it creates peer pressure that she wants to have the the beautiful or the good things in life because her friends are having that as well but then let's talk uh, a little bit more about um, this issue of girls tilting more towards the angle of rich men or let me never say rich men with um, financial stability like Bentley said earlier on so we have Billy watching us we have Lois watching us um, and then we have um, Bole watching us. Welcome. So today's topic is why do ladies tend to turn more to the men that already have money when it comes to choosing a partner? Is it that they are not ready to endure with a, with a pro guy? Is it like they are not prepared to manage, to sacrifice, to let go of um, some luxurious things that a guy might not give them? Is it that they are not ready for it? Is it that they feel like they don't need to suffer? They just need to have it. Is it because they feel like they, it's an obligation for the man to, pro, to provide for his woman? Or is it because they do not just experience, they don't just see themselves experiencing that? Is it because they don't see themselves experiencing poverty or hardship or not so much affluence like a rich person would give them? So I really want to see what, um, hear what you guys have to say. If you want to connect, you, you press.
press the, the button and I'll bring you on screen so you can give me your opinion live and uh, also we can really dissect and eliminate any um, preconceived notion that women are materialistic or something based on today's topic so we have a um, princess watching us princess is a lady princess if you want to come on and come and today I don't mind <laughs> Quincy says um, now let me let me be clear when you've just met a good woman she doesn't expect you to have money that's not why she's dating you and of course she'll stay by your side during the difficult times but at some point you need to fulfill your potential and aspire to improve yourself in your profession because if you love her you would work your ass off to ensure that together you get to tick off a few bucket list items and to ensure that together you can enjoy weekend outings and to ensure that together you can provide for your children all right so that was a comment from um, Quincy, and he says that even if you do meet a, a nice lady who doesn't ask you for money, who is contented with your financial status, it is your responsibility and your duty as a man to make sure that you elevate yourself from point A to point B and eventually to point C and then point D. So he says it's not okay for you to just be comfortable to say, okay, this lady loves me, this is who I am, well, we're, we're going to eat our rice and sleep. But because of her standing by your side, you need to motivate yourself to work hard and to get those things that will make her be proud and that will eventually make you provide for her things she might have never had. So we have um, Kevin Kuma watching us. Hello, Kevin. Um, Emmanuel says, hi, T. Hello, Emmanuel. You're always on the rendezvous. Thank you so much. Cantona is here. Hello, Cantona. Frank says, that's, that's a good one, Jay. Um, Afanyu Brian is watching us. Hello. Welcome to this live broadcast. So I really want us to talk a little bit about what um, um, Brian had said. I think it was Brian, right? Jay. Jay had said earlier on, Valentine is here. He says, um, I dare someone to ask Gogo the meaning of Slay Queen. <laughs> okay. Uh, Valentine has given us an assignment. Let's Google Slay Queen. Anybody, Google it. I'm bringing it here. Let's, let's discuss the definition of a Slay Queen. <laughs> Frank says, but why are women tilted towards rich men? That's today's topic. I really want us to talk about that. Cantona says, now so them, did they die more because of Langa money? <laughs> Welcome, Cantona. I missed you. Eh? If you have time, connect. Let's have this one on one. So, um, Cantona says, now so them, die more because of Langa money. I really want us to talk about also this aspect of ladies suffering the consequences of the search of a rich man. Because we have girls who do runs who go on social media on the beat to get a man with money because they want that financial uh, affluence by themselves, uh, by their side. Um, let's see, we have, um, let's see, Frank says, okay, JL said busy today, so, okay, so you know, call plenty time there, eh? but you're watching, I don't mind. <laughs> Frank says, I will Google all. So we have some few people trying to connect with us. Let's see if we can bring them on the screen and then uh, we can have this chat one on one. Hello, Duku. I salute. I salute. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be very, very interesting. But the point is, women are not the only ones who are tilted towards money because even the men. We are tilted towards money. No man knows everything they will like he said when you poor. Whether you're a man or a woman. So every person deserves happiness. Happiness is not money gives happiness, you understand? Like you being rich is not something of the mind, it's something to do with numbers. Like if you have seven, eight digits in your account, you're stable and all that. So it's just normal for a woman to like a man who is financially stable. Even the Bible states that the first thing for a man to acquire is not a woman. She should have a job, something to do that you can sustain a family. I don't think women are the problem here. The point is, if a woman too can, can be in love with you when you are poor and all those things, but now when you are financially stable, you decide to leave the girl because she doesn't meet your standards, she's not that beautiful, now you're exposed to the world, you start seeing beauty queens and all that. So it's a two-sided something. We all just 
we cannot blame women for it though because i think everybody is just crazy about it but money money is very important whether a man or a woman is very very important all right thank you, thank you good cool good cool is like our favorite viewer is always on um commenting and sharing etc but then he's brought up a point that i want us to talk about he said everyone likes money everybody wants to be successful but then the question is not you being successful is why do women want to be successful through men you understand because a man will say okay i want to be successful i want to get a job i want to have uh, financial stability by being an entrepreneur you can see and then some ladies will just be like well i want to be successful successful because i'm dating this guy because i'm in a relationship with this guy not that i want to work hard not that i want to get a job not that i want to go to school no 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 i just want to like sit there and then get a rich man who's going to sweep me off my feet and give me everything i need so when he says that everybody wants to be successful yeah that's good but we need to talk about the ladies that do not do anything to elevate themselves other than dating men that already have everything they need. That's what today's topic is all about. Um, we have uh, um, Odria watching us. Hello, Pamela is watching us. Hello, Pamela. Um, Princess says, well, for me, uh, men are supposed to provide because it is their duty to do so. Some women do those things because of competition on their previous relationship experience. Okay, that's Princess. Um, Nash is watching us. Hello, Nash. Pamela says, um, Très belle, ma puce. Merci. <laughs> um, Frank says, I got the meaning of Slay Queen from Google. Okay, so let's do a, a little roundup in French for some of my French viewers that are watching me. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes en train de parler des filles qui, qui ont um, cette tendance de sortir avec les hommes qui ont, qui ont déjà de l'argent et pas les hommes pauvres, en, entre guillemets. Pourquoi les filles rêvent-elles toujours de sortir avec les garçons qui ont déjà de l'argent? Est-ce que c'est parce qu'elles veulent cette stabilité financière ou est-ce que c'est parce qu'elles veulent euh, être en compétition avec leurs copines? Tu vois, that's what we're talking about. Imano says, well, more than 90% of girls can go gaga for an accomplished man. Why? <laughs> that is a question today. I know it's kind of like um, or an already answered issue, but I really want us to, to, to dissect it and talk about it. Because I know there are some ladies that do not really look at financial status of a man before being with him. They are like, okay, is he God-fearing? Does he love his family right? Is it kind? You know, there are other things that are part of it. But I know there are some other girls that are like, does he have money? How does he work? What car does he drive? What house is he in? You see? So that's why. Where, where does that change come from? Because it's like a two sides of the opposite coin. Um, um, two sides of the same coin. Like, where does that change come from? This bicycle, I don't drive a car. <laughs> How about you? But, uh... I'm okay, how are you? I'm walking by me on Sunday. Asha. Thank you. Well, I'll start my own show small. I'm going to pay for watch me. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> so, so what's your now, take? It's in a, in a mentality and upbringing. For a good amount of African girls. Let me be precise. African girls. In the sense, say, we're big papa, we're big mommy, the teacher, a young girl, and say, the teacher, mommy, and say, a man has to provide. Clearly, yeah, a man has to provide, but a man, a man is not here to be for the Christmas in your life. A man is here to provide for you and his family. On the girlfriend, boyfriend, level, into a boy doing for you, now, out of the kindness of his heart, don't expect it, don't even demand for it. But then, if this, if these girls, or if, if the training we had as Africans was, everybody has to fend for themselves. And then we bring it to like collective effort. Let's do something great. That would have been that would have been less of what we have today. But they turn with the girl again, and I said, "No, she don't for us. Be us or your master go go work money can give you, yeah." So now it starts. It's not the same way. They don't need like it don't need to transfer now to the level of girls have expectations that every guy, no matter at what level, should be able to give them. So we're able to spoil the mukash. Secondly, peer pressure. Pay pressure. Oh, my father got me an S7. I'm going to go find my own boyfriend to buy me S7. I'll show to my friend. So, I mean, it boils down to the, it boils down to the mentality of the young girls and pay pressure. For me, oh, that's what I see. 
My if is my talk no correct, it's up to between you and Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, JR, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for giving your opinion. Well, to JR, he brought up two top um, two points. And the first point, we have um Oscar watching us. Hello, we have um uh, some few people have commented. Let me just let me come let me just talk about JR and then I'll read your comments. So JR says the first point is your upbringing and um, your personality. So he says we African women or the African setting we've been raised to know that the man fends for the lady. He goes and uh, he goes gets the money gets everything and then brings it now home and we now stay home and take care of the home you understand so we have we grew up with this notion of a man is supposed to provide and it's not really 50 50 something no 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 it's maybe 70 30 or 80 20 so he says that's what contributes to a lady looking towards the direction of a man who has money more as compared to another guy who doesn't because she'll be like hey. so what am I supposed to do am I supposed to be like giving you money or how are we supposed to do this like i'm supposed to be managing with you you see but when a man is already having a financial stability is already rich in quotes or already has money she's like okay fine if i tell him i want to do my hair it's gonna give me if i tell him i want to go out it's gonna give me if i tell him i need to go to i have to go for a trip or something it's gonna provide so she 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 tilts her mind more towards that direction and it also talks about another point that was said earlier on peer pressure that um ladies tend to talk more um um, tilt towards a guy with money more because a friend also has a boyfriend who has the money so she's like oh, if my friend can have this money why can't I so yeah I need to look for a guy who also has money and is gonna provide for me so um, Cantona says go, go to all these born-again churches you will see influx of women because of the power of money they want to hear it shall be well with your finance suffering is not your portion did Jesus not suffer <laughs> Frank says, girls who do not, Frank, your comments are really long. I'll try to read them later. David Diver says, hi, dear, keep up. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Frank says, Father Christmas. Um, Junior is watching us. Um, Peter just joined us. Hello, Peter. Queen is here. Hello, Queen. Frank Smith is watching us. Zainab is watching us. Frank says, hi, Queen. And uh, we have uh, Mrs. Snow watching us. Queen says, all oh, my suffer for this ground concerning money. I leave it all to my boyfriend. Oh, sorry. Elena is watching us. Thank you. So let's talk about Queen. Queen is saying that all her sufferings and financial problems, she leaves it all to her boyfriend and husband. <laughs> so she's like, my man or my boyfriend needs to have his feet on the ground and be able to handle whatever complaints I have when it comes to financial problems or any financial back um um difficulties I'm facing so she she knows that is a role to, in her mind is a role of a man to provide for his lady even in the Bible as Dudku said it is a duty of a man to provide for the woman so ladies tend to just do what the Bible says and provide for me <laughs> they just tend to see that okay provide because even the Bible stated that you need to provide for your woman you're the man you go work till the soil go and hunt or something and then come back and give me our cook so that's what Queen is also um, saying Janice is saying hello hello Janice uh, we have uh, Edmond hello Edmond Ken Brenda is here hello Ken um, Frank is laughing at Queen Queen says yes I leave it to I leave it all to him so I really want us to look into this very very keenly and I think it's actually it's actually it's so funny but it's true uh, Frank says see her nickname by the way Dangote <laughs> Not really that there. Yeah. Well, you know, when I try fear God, I don't God no say pay flight to Paris. Pay flight to Paris no be friendly. But you, when I know you just got the name, the the cover of one of our there. Say friend, what 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 do you mean for friend? Friend means there. Basic necessities, food, water, health, education. Now, fend in that. If the boy buy you 10 pairs of clothes, so what will you get for the nice papa? You are spending too much money. Keep it. What the hell? Say, the queen, eh? queen, don't actually fire you today. <laughs> I cover queen in the blood of Jesus. Queen, no thunder will fire you. You understand? Lady T is praying for you. <laughs> Cantona 
Jesus says, Queen Dangote, this is how he will leave you to for another hardworking lady. Okay? Oscar Berry says, it is the duty of the man to provide for the woman. And it's 2018. Oh, Oscar, if you want to <coughs> sorry, if you want to connect with us and give us your opinion, I'll be highly, very highly um excited to bring you on the screen so you can talk about 2018 and how it's not the duty of a man to provide for a woman queen says no problem make you leave me another man will be there when god closes one door he opens another so queen is responding to um cantona's arguments who says when a lady is materialistic hello man leave and goes to a much hard-working lady hello good cool Hello? Yeah. Yes. Um, I want to ask now, JR, that we really talk today, so when I get some small sister, we may have to date you, I know we spend nothing for a hit. Because that talk, <laughs> the way talks are not correct. <laughs> when you talk, say fend, you have to fend for your family or fend for your girlfriend. You know means you pay you flight. What a woman in makeup and all those things, you know how much it cost my brother? So if you actually say you need money for hair, you need money for shoe, you need money for part, me and you only wear part me every money get for the weather. Now money, I know be all man fee provide that money there. You understand? So one way or the other way you look and find woman na financial something, it's it's never a bonus, it's it's a deficit. It's always like that. You must spend so if you're going for a woman, a brother, you just have to be ready. And we are African people. When you marry a woman, you marry the family. Someday you meet a brother for road, you cry, you give ten thousand. You meet a sister for some side, you give five thousand. Always like that. If you feel jam with your mommy or your uncle for market, you more give small thing. It's not it's, it's different. The culture in Europe is not like that. It, for here for Europe. Now why don't we get it? They over disrespect people for Europe because they know so you need to spend for them. At least for Africa, they spend that money so young that you respect some way, at least even your family gives some respect. Ah, uh, no more opinion on that. Okay, thank you so much, Dudko. Dudko has brought this topic to another angle now. He has revamped the topic. And uh, let's say hello to um, Tutu Biaka is watching us. Queen says, thank you, my brother. Peter is loving. Um, Danny says, Dudko, you're right. Grace says, ha, ha, ha. Brian says, I know, give nothing. <laughs> Queen says, it's a man's responsibility to take care of his wife or girlfriend. Frank says, I like like our host to see her hair, ask her the price. Ah! <laughs> when I lift my hair softly, this this hair is, is money. It's money like this. <laughs> JR. First of all, dude, come on, I'll tell you my mind. If I get small sister, right? If you need anything with your life, me, I go give. Because I don't want to be no dark boy, no smelling boy for road. No rat ass boy takes or nonsense with your life. Yes. I'll be very proud of that. I no rat ass boy talk as much as they are. I'm as much that he walk fine with take care of himself. Okay. The whole part and all the rats in them. Now, basic necessities, what I talk about before. Now, basic necessities. I talked the flight bus. I want to give an example of extravagance where it don't make sense. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but the part of my small sister, my small that asks some boy, I'll just slap you for it. Ridiculous. <laughs> okay, JR. Wow, we have so many people trying to come on. Let's see if we can take everyone fast, 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 so we can also read some comments. It's crazy. So we have um, Batemata Beta is watching us. Hello. Uh, we have um, Queen. Queen says, Brian Bay, you must give all. <laughs> David T comments watching. Um, Grace says, them get forgive since Adam and Eve. <laughs> since Adam and Eve, the man has been providing eh? No more than will keep me for the live video, I swear to God. <laughs> so let's see if we can bring Oscar Berry on. He's trying to connect with us so he can talk about a few things. Um, Bessline says, where was he from before the boy met you? Hello, Oscar. Welcome to this live video. Hi. Hi. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Another interesting topic you have today. Um, I'm happy to have uh, some time to be part of the conversation. Um, yeah. First, my reaction to, to all the comments I've been hearing. Um, I don't. I don't think. I don't think that it is. It is a man's uh, responsibility to to take care of uh, a lady, at least not financially. Um, uh, uh, I think that we need to we need to realize that we're evolving as a as a society. You know, we're not 
living the lives of our parents. Maybe it was true with our parents back in the day, uh, especially for most, uh, so most of us were from Africa, uh, where the woman was basically depending on the man financially and she was just a housewife. And it did make sense that as a breadwinner, that's what you do. But we're growing up and we're trying to promote a society where a lady is independent, where women go to school, they get their own job, they can focus on their own career, right? I mean, of course, if you want to do something, you could as well continue doing stuff as a man. But to have that cliche that financially a woman should be dependent or must be dependent on a man, I think that's that's cliche. That's cliche. That's 1945 or in 2018. Um, nothing stops a man from you know, taking a lady on a trip you know, or being there for her financially. Likewise, you know, uh, uh, if a lady want to support the man financially, it's, it's, you know, it's, a, it's okay. We can do that. Um, so my whole idea and the comments I'm hearing say, you know, you have to take care. Because one other guy said, um, at least in Africa, you know, when you pay for a woman or you take over financially, you get respect. But that means you're buying that respect. And I don't think you should be buying respect. Your woman should respect you because of who you are and the values that you bring into the relationship, not because you're paying her off, actually buying the respect of the family and you equally create a cycle of dependency and arrogance for the man because it's like, okay, I pay for everything so I can do what the hell I want to do. Uh, I'm not accountable to you. So okay. I think we should try to change, we should try to change that. So that, that's my own contribution. Um, yeah. Thanks All right. for, for letting me be part of it. Thank you so much. We have like eight people trying to connect right now. I don't know how I'm going to bring everyone on the screen, but I'll take you guys one after the other. So Oscar is saying that whatever Dude Cool said about the respect, when you pay for something and you get the respect, you need to buy the respect. Hello, Emmanuel. Hi, E.T. Oh, your topic doing? today is really interesting. I, I, yeah, I really like the topic. It's interesting. I'm, I'm, I think that the topic for today it's really a challenging one for the ladies. So I would like to challenge all the girls out there. Especially I'll challenge the girls out there that they should try as much as possible to come on live. I want to hear the girls talk. <laughs> Men are like over contributing on this very topic. And it's a challenging topic to the women because it says that every woman or any every woman or girl don't want to go behind somebody who've already made it. Yeah. Somebody who is accomplished. Somebody who've got a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, we'll see that in this contemporary world, that's just like a case which is, I think, is crystal clear. Especially within our African context. It's really clear. Yeah. Most, girl, most girls, they want an already made man. Somebody who've already got plenty. Some, they say, oh, they've not, they have not come into this world to suffer. They don't want those poor guys. And you see some girls nowadays, they are with you, a boy, because at that particular moment, you are the best option. When they'll get a better off person, they'll leave you. If there's any girl who wants to challenge the boys, they the girls, they should come online and then let's really talk on this. Because well, let's share no this woman video, share this video, invite your female friends, friends no so they can come and give can their opinions. A man <laughs> who's made it for himself, a man who's got a lot of money. If there's any boy out there who wants to like I mean, castigate my idea, bring your sisters like five or even like ten. <laughs> when I come back from the UK, I will, I will not even, I'll come back from the UK. I've got everything. Intelligence, I've studied a lot. At least I got small hey. money. The girls will be there ten. When I go behind the ten, I must have nine of them. Oh Within our God. context of Africa, here in Europe is different. Women, the one guys who've made money. That's it. They consider it like what? Well, they consider it to be a prestige for themselves. That, that's All our right. case. And not, 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 normally, I think, to me, I think it's bizarre. It's not, it's not okay, too good. Emmanuel, but let's, that's, take, that's let's, take, let's take Queen. Queen is a lady. She's trying to connect. Let's see what Queen has to say. So we can have a female perspective. I've, we have like so many comments. I cannot even read all of them. So let me just go like down. Oh, my God. <laughs> Queen is here. Let's see if we can bring her. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we want to hear from you. Everybody's like, Queen, talk, explain yourself, tell us what you think about this topic. I want to uh, see all those guys who disagree with my point. I want to ask them a simple question. They are talking about uh, you cannot go for a man that uh, has succeeded or a man that is rich, a man that has made it in life. You need to work hard. 
for how long is how long will I continue to work? Others, others, they are lavishing. Others, they are moving in luxurious life. I'll continue to suffer. Not the kind of suffer. I'm married for 200 francs. People, they go to do their hair. People, they go to look good. And at the same man, we go talk for you, say, manage. The same man will come over for outside. Define, different get the way they, def the way they de flourish. The same man, we go talk for you, say, baby, persevere. Now, the same man, they go for outside for people, the way they don't make up for life. Guess the way they de put expensive hairs in for their hair. But you come for you, go tie a face, tie this, this, baby, we are managing, we are doing this. He said, no to me. If you don't have, pack your, pack your moto far for my, for my yash. I know I even first see your face. Hide that face, hide that poverty. All my sofa, on the outside, on top of your head. If you know how to take her ego, not a joking issue, my sister. I'm telling you the truth. It's not a joking issue. It's something I'm serious of. Queen, Queen, we can't really hear Queen anymore. Queen, Queen, I just made everybody's night today. <laughs> today is so funny. Let's see if we can bring another lady on. <laughs> Queen says, anybody who's broke should leave. She doesn't want to see any broke guy by her side. So let's take another lady. Hello, but matter better. <laughs> Hello, T. Long time. Long time. Um, I'd, love, I'd, lo I'd love to say that the topic of today is a two-way street. Men love Made, uh, women love made men men love made women so it's it's it, it, we shouldn't be biased mm -hmm. i am a lady i work hard and i work smart so it's just normal and obvious for me to go for a guy with made or has a prospect of being made in future like you you wouldn't imagine yourself being like in one position of your life for one day for all the days of your life so it's not like Girls are gold digger. Guys who are gold digger, nobody wants to associate his or herself with a liability. So what we ought to do is like everybody should step up their game. The ladies should work hard. The men should work hard so that if you if, before looking for a made man, you ought to be a made woman before looking for a made man. That's my contribution. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I think Mata Beta is on the total opposite side of a uh, um, cream. Mata Beta says, if you are looking for a made man, you should be a made woman. And two of you guys now can be a made couple. And rather than you uh, want into, let's see if we can bring Peter. Peter has been trying to, to come on. Um, Peter, if you can accept my request, it's going to be amazing. So let's see how we can do it. But Mata Beta is saying, if you want to have a made man, you should be a made woman. And she also says, made women that is women that work hard get their own money do their own things they tend to go more towards the direction of men that equally uh in the same prospects of uh, of what they what they are thinking hello peter yeah tina how hello. i'm fine yeah hello <laughs> uh wow well, i see uh, sorry, Peter. Um, if you can try to connect again, um, we'll see if we can bring you back. We have like six people trying to come on camera. So we'll see. So Don Cleon says um, she's totally correct, but the fact is most women are not made. Hello, Oscar. Welcome back. Just have a few minutes to just give your Hi. opinion. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go really quickly. I'm going to go quickly. Um, and this time around, I'll tackle this, the topic of conversation. Because you're like, uh, are men more attracted to, women more attracted to uh, uh, men who are financially made? And I think the answer is yes. And it doesn't mean that you're gold diggers. And I support what the, the lady just, just, just said. Because nobody wants to have a liability. Nobody wants to be poor. Nobody wants to struggle in life. So, of course, money is attractive. Money brings power. Money brings fame and, and, and prestige. But in as much as what she said, it has to be looked at in a, in a two-way stream because what we always have is a situation where girls who have done nothing, who are broke, who have done nothing with their life, just wait for a guy who has climbed the ladder and then just, you know, just, just hold on. And, and that, that, that's a survival key. That doesn't, that doesn't help in any ways. But you go fend for yourself, try to be independent, and then you meet someone you know, with whom you can build a future with. I think that's the whole idea, right? That's the most important thing. Yeah, so that's that's my little contribution. All right, Oscar. So Oscar says um, he supports what Matter Better said earlier on that you're supposed to be made or in the direction of being made before you can come on and say, okay, I want a made person. But a lady that has not done anything whatsoever cannot just go hook on a man who has money already. So we have Queen back. 
Queen, can you hear us? Hello? Queen, um, I'll try to connect with you later. Let's see if we can bring um, Peter back on because his connection was quite poor. Um, Oscar says a lady who just sits there has not done whatsoever necessary to make her life better cannot go and benefit from someone who's made it already. So, Peter, can you hear us? Yeah, I can get you. And you? Um, I can get you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've read a lot of comments. I must say, if I've been loving all through. But um, I want us to get a little bit serious because this is a very interesting topic and a very serious one too. Um, like I said during the last, uh, last week, I think that we ought to know the reason why we get into relationships. And I think that if you get into a relationship because you love somebody, money won't be an issue. Money wouldn't be the reason why you're getting into a relationship. The reason why we have uh, so many failed relationships is because we don't get into relationships because of love. Normally, if I love my woman, I will do everything for her. It's as simple as that ABC. If I love my woman, I'll make sure that she's fine. Somebody does not need to tell me that it should be my obligation to take care of my woman. So I want to tell most of the girls there to... To, to really erase that idea because sometimes it sounds very insulting because from the man's perspective whenever you buy something for your woman it's difficult to know whether it comes from the man's heart or maybe he's been compelled by by the uh, notions that we build in our head that a man has to take care of his woman i think we should we we, we have to separate uh, there should be a clear line between free will and what they call duty. If it's my girlfriend, I'm not compelled to take care of you. Whatever I give you, you take because it comes from my heart. By the time we get married, the Bible is clear on that. By the time we get married, the man has to provide for the house. But if we are still in a relationship, all of us have to put our hands on deck. And whatever my heart tells me to do for you, I will do for you. Nobody has to say that it is a man's responsibility to take care of his woman. I think... We are living in 2018. Situations are changing. The economy is not the same. Um, life is getting very tough. And I think that um, if two people who have the same vision for their relationships stick together, this issue of money won't really uh, be something which we want to hold so high because whatever comes from the heart, the other person will appreciate and take. So um, in a nutshell, I would like the ladies to separate themselves between duty and free will. If I give something to you, it should come from my heart, not uh, some sort of uh, duty. I don't owe you anything. You don't owe yeah. me nothing. Okay. All right, Peter. Thank you so much. Let's see if we can quickly bring everyone else who's in the waiting room <laughs> to come on camera. Uh, we have a queen saying there's no relationship with money. Hello, queen. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Queen, you are the reason why men, uh, women. Can you like move somewhere where your connection is a little bit better and then call us again and I'll bring you on, on, the cam um, on camera for you to connect. Let's take J. All the piment come sell at them, sell at them. All the way workers buy those the piment. The uh, guy needs to, the guy needs to. See, if you, all these five frag girls moving around town, we have boss boss shoe and your local life. They're waiting for one guy to come and upgrade you. Don't know for you. <laughs> there's, no, there's no reason why a human being should not. See, a guy thinking of you is different from a girl not being able to do your own things. Even if I get married to a woman today, we'll have whatever millions in our lives. I will need that woman to be able to do something on the side. So what happens today if the husband dies, or if the guy dies? Who will provide for you? Jesus Christ will come and provide for you. Like, it's this simple. Why, why can you, why can you? Are you never gonna shame that you're depending on somebody? Shame that you do you. <laughs> shame that you do you. 
No, but let's, let's be frank. Don't you don't you feel bad? You don't need to go tell me so. Oh please, how do you feel? Actually, say you look at conscience. No vex, JR. No vex. Let's see if we can take someone else. Oh my god, you guys are gonna kill me. Let's see if we can take Nadia. And Nadia's trying to connect and give another feminine perspective of this topic. But this says, uh, but uh, Matabeta says, Tonta will really fire them. Gray says, I beg no key man. Queen says, stay there. Express Motoga, <laughs> Motogo pass, leave you. <laughs> Oh, Queen is amazing, man. Carly says, money everywhere. Oh, money answered everything. Yes, I know. But in the case of a woman, money is the beginning of Wahala. So, um, uh, Nadia, unfortunately, you're not next to your phone. So, if you can uh, quickly connect with us when you're, when you're next to your phone, I'll bring you on camera. So, I see uh, Colin saying, um, to, these, to the ladies, listen well. The love of money is a road to the grave. So, he's warning them ladies saying, do not love money. Do not love money. It's not good. Money is not good. <laughs> uh, Metisna says, Masa, that girl, they know the year that one know. So, welcome, Bestly. Hello. Hello, dear. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, I want to talk firstly to the lady that is running out there that um, your man is supposed to give you everything, do that, do this for you. First, if you're getting into a relationship and you already have a factor, if that factor is not the guy, then I'm sorry for you. If money is your attracting factor into a relationship, then that's, there's a serious problem. Because once the factor is out, it is but obvious the relationship will break. So even if it is money, if it is marriage or anything, once you have a pulling factor, which is not the person himself, it is very bad. So you should not, the money should not attract you. I think what you should look forward to to see is who is this guy? Does he have a future? Is it goal oriented? Does he have maybe if he is broke at that moment? There are some guys that are broke, but you look at this guy just from his attitude, you know, no, tomorrow this is going to be someone very great in life. You can already say that this is somebody that can make it in life. So money should not even be a factor. That's the first point. Second point, you these girls that are saying you want a guy to come and do this, come and do that, come and do this. Let me tell you, a guy will never value you if you are not in his struggles. If you see a guy struggling to stand, right, you help him stand. When he stands where he is today, he will never forget you. He may go out there, play games, do everything, but this particular girl that helped him in that moment, that's why you see Statistics have proven that about 70% of guys, they really love their moms. Do you know why? Moms never give up on men. That's what a man wants. He wants this woman that can, you know, build with him bit by bit, and they get to that point up there. When they will start riding in those big cars, you know, no, this lady, we walked together. We got there together. We made it together. He will respect you. But you don't come and meet a guy that has... He's earning millions. Me so. I don't feel like that kind of boy then. Because he will never respect you. He sees you like one furniture he bought with his money. You understand? But if you are a girl that you started with him when he had no money, you guys worked and got to that point. He'll always respect you first. And he will give you even double the things you are saying that you want him to buy for you. That At that point, he's giving you from his heart. He is willingly giving you he respects you and sees that you deserve that. A third point. Some girls are saying, uh, I want car, I want this, I want this. Auntie, please, what's, what are you doing for a living first? You're looking for a guy that earns six figures. You're looking for a guy that can buy you grave. You're looking for a guy that can do this. And you say, well, you need a guy when he comes into your life. He needs to start giving you money, start taking care of it. How were you surviving before you met that guy, if I may ask you? How are you doing your hair? How are you buying all those things? How are you, how are you living your life before you met that guy? If, if you're dating a guy, it is not any, it is not, there's no written agreement that he's supposed to give you money. 
If you have, if you say I'm going to school, he says, okay, please take this on my transport. Be fucking grateful. There is no agreement that the poor guy has to give you money. If he's not married to you, there is no agreement. You are supposed to take care of yourself. Are you an orphan? You have a father, you have a family, right? You take care of yourself. There's no agreement that this guy, because I'm dating him, he has to buy me hair, he has to buy me car, he has to upgrade me. The problem with us women too is comparison. You want to look, you want to be like this girl, you want to be like this class. This guy bought this for his girlfriend. But the secret about this thing, girls, the secret about it is men value women that struggle with them. That is the truth. If you that's the general thing. That's why you see most men love their mom. Because okay. they always they love somebody that stands with them. Let okay. me know about talk. <laughs> Thank you, Bestlin. Uh, if I want to take the time to to dissect what Bestlin has said, we're going to spend the whole day because she said so many important points. She's she's given examples that are very nice. Hello, Dunkleon. Hey, hi. How you guys doing? I'm good. I hope you're good too. I'm sure you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. See, I would just like to speak in pigeon, okay? Let me just speak. Let me break it down. Let me go back to where everybody understands this. See, the fact is not about the money issue. You know, is the society that we live in. Growing up, we have already been told, for example, say, man picking, Mobina, the one. Within the society, I cannot compare it to the Western world. The Western world is 50-50. Now, for Africa in general, I matters in particular Cameroon that I know very, very well. Boya, in a place where I grow. Statistics, you see a gang say them, there's a gerade and the gang, like, you see a very beautiful lady, right? Young guys will be in the, they will be in the same class in school, everything, but she will, she will look, she will look below them. Like, you, you want to talk for, you want to talk for the girl, the girl says it. I know be your class. That's the I know be your class. Like I would like you see, like she would do, like she would prefer to date married men. Like she would prefer to date somebody as husband, rather than trying to be with somebody that might be a husband tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because like for right now, they think about the present. They don't think about the future. Like it's a statistical number. Like type of will you be? Teacher, I'll be giving some statistics. More look at more look at statistics. Say how we fit down get the statistics. That will look at they put, put man picking, they put 10 boys, 10 female on the two different group. So, you know, them will share ideas because our idea if it be mixed, construe. So, we go shoot for a group with a man picking them. We analyze them. You see how many girls will go for high school? Who will travel, talk for the whole the same class? You know, talk for you. now. You take example, you go talk now with a girl with a day below your class. The girl go look cool and say she's it don't upgrade. Say the dead boy for lower seat. It did for lower seat. The girl for lower seat. If it, if you like some boy for class, but no ever accept that boy. Now very few of them, few accept that boy. Either the boy that girl the dead boy that will you be because you don't upgrade. Women generally the one upgradation. That's eighty five percent of women. Let me say twenty years will not date the guy that is twenty years. You tell the guy that was 25, 30 years. Because you know, see, at least that man, at least he don't get something. At least he, get, he, he do one or two things. Maybe not, not because we'll go for, most of the time we'll go for a house, family way. Now, Papa, you want this JG program. We, you see, I gave me the, I gave one or two things for, for a unkind, a unkind way. But now, they pay, they make sure everything they find. Okay. So, I know, sister, my, every, my, every my small sister, I know, I know, I have my small sister made dead, my way no get do. It's, it's, it, no, it is true. I know, I need to hide out no man. At least, maybe you the woman, at least. For example, what if, for example, tomorrow, what if you can get better for that relationship? Now you bring picking up in the street with that, that, that boy, this is struggle, struggle for life. That, maybe that boy, life is your end. That boy, nothing, no side, he's side again tomorrow. Because you know, it gives that feed you, feed the beginner. Or if the boy, so one of the I see some boys with the advice and give them a good better because the boy not getting no nothing for every show off. He sleep on the papa house, he did on the papa in money, in money the gee. So you know, if you advise yourself, young girl, you want to make you my hair. You my hair cost how much? Mochikam, you my hair cost how much? 
You want to make your name. You want to go saloon. You want to do other things. How much it costs? Okay, don't clear. Yeah, let's let's yeah go. other things may look okay. Money and everything. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's see if we can take um, Carl. He's trying to connect. Let's see if we can bring Carl um, on. So Dan Cleon says it's a mindset that has existed even before in 2018. So let's see if we can bring... Hello, Carl. Hi, Tina. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good. I'm glad you're doing great. Yeah, uh... I'm kind of having it a little bit difficult to understand the subject matter on that discourse. Um, can you just repeat it for me? We're trying to look at why majority of ladies tend to go more to men with money when they want a relationship as compared to a, a man who hasn't got money. So people have been saying because everyone wants financial stability, others say it's uh, others say ladies who have already made it tend to tilt the attention more to men who have already made it as well. Um, others say it's the duty of a man to provide, so it's normal for them to go towards a man who already has things to provide. So that's um, today's topic. <clears throat> well, um, that it's a very dicey. It's a very um, it's a it's a topic that is very interesting, but can be viewed from. Uh, different many facets um i believe the first thing is the first thing is when you look at the aspirational needs of every relationship right yeah um uh, each person each person has certain characteristics certain qualities that they aspire to uh in their partners right which is which is left to their own um standards everybody people have different personalities people have different personality types people have the way they approach relationships in that aspect but some of the things that i want to mention here now is that first of all it's a cultural thing you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. that um what is the what is the image that has been created of an african woman you understand yeah. she plays a role of she plays a role of support she plays a role of uh uh she's she's not she's not meant to be ambitious too ambitious you understand which is a problem now you get a point where at the start of a relationship when we are trying to woo the ladies what do we do we do a lot of things to impress them right we buy them gifts. They don't ask us. We buy them gifts. You understand? We take them out. We take them to snack bars. We give them uh, drinks. We don't mind if they are there with 10 friends or 15 friends because we want something pro from them, in it? And, you know, when they agree to us based on what we have presented to them, we become complacent. We already have this, like, we already have these girls. What more do we want? We go from 100 to zero. You understand? Uh, no more outings. No more gifts. No more. You get it? It's like, it's like 100 to, to zero. So I believe that it's, um, it, it comes down to, it comes down to, it comes down to an understanding between you two you get it yeah but okay. a lot of times i understand that some girls exaggerate some girls exaggerate their demands as well as some boys equally exaggerate their uh complacency within a relationship you okay, understand? Carl. Like, yeah so Carl, summarily are you saying is the cultural a mindset of every individual that determines the kind of person they end up dating what i'm saying is that what i'm saying is that there is there is a there is a there is a cultural um, dynamic to it you understand okay. mm -hmm. i mean you 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 would have witnessed it in europe or in um in uh yeah in europe that people practically even couple practically split the bill when they go out to the restaurant to to have food right that is yeah. their culture that is what they are accustomed to right 
but in in the African in the African uh, society in the African context, I will not be comfortable whether it's on the first date or is on the hundred and other. Except if you except if maybe um, except if maybe the, um, the the person in question is is treating me out. Okay. You understand? Well, so let's let we have like eight. Okay. We have like eight people trying to connect. Let's see if we can bring people as as quick as we can. So everybody will have a moment to, to air their mind and give their opinion. So when you call, please try to, to give your point and then elaborate briefly so everyone can have the chance. And if you have any other thing you want to add, you can call back and I'll always bring you on screen, okay? Um, sorry about that, Carl. Let's see if we can bring uh, Mombela. Mombela is trying, to, uh, is trying to connect with us. Let's see if we can bring him on. Um, G says, before you one date a rich guy, show me how much you get for your account first. Okay, Queen says, money for hand, back for ground. <laughs> Queen is just amazing. Abigail says, it's, it's only a broke man that has an issue of spending on a woman. And it's only a lazy and broke girl that goes around looking for a ready-made man. So it's a give, a give and take situation, um, as Abigail says. Okay. Unfortunately, Mombela is not uh, picking up. Let's see if we can bring Akko on. Um, yeah, money for ground, back for money for I'm back for ground. Um, Mark William says, in the first place, why would a lady go for a guy who is not financially upright? My brother, do you want that lady to suffer? Uh, Peter says, some boys are also stingy. Okay, that's that's another. Um, Let's bring dude cool. So, um, Colin says, you go see a lady well-dressed. You check everything in her body. It's roughly 900K. But now, guys, their money. Chai, some girls, eh? Hmm. <laughs> if I should leave me, if I should stop asking for the price of this hair, I beg. If I should leave this hair alone. Leave, it's not part of this discussion, please. It's not. <laughs> Okay, everybody, live video. So let's see if we can bring Ben. I'm trying to connect with everyone who is um in the, wa in the waiting room, but unfortunately they're not coming through. So let's see. Um, Queen says, "Suffer married, four thousand two hundred." We have Brenda watching us. Hello, Brenda. Welcome. So guys, if you're trying to connect with me, okay, if you're trying to connect with me, pick up. <laughs> Don't be wasting people's time. Pick up. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello, Sina. How are you? Yeah, um, regarding the topic, why are women more attracted to men with um, money? Is that a topic, yeah? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. It's all good. Okay. Is a topic that why are women more attracted to men with money, is it? Yeah, that's the topic. Well... I don't blame anybody, you know, I'm not here to judge. But um, the truth is, as a man, if I have so much money, I know I'll be entitled to so many ladies. But the truth is, if women are attracted to men with money, it's not their fault. But however, they should be able to work and make some money for themselves. In the sense that if she's put, like, if I get married to a lady and she has a job, you know, that way, or she can handle her things, or without marrying my girlfriend, whatever, I provide for her. It's a normal thing because uh, every man wants to spoil their ladies. But in a situation where we have a problem, yeah, and we don't talk, which I don't pray for, she should be able to use her own money and run things, run the house, take care of her own kids, or do her own thing. Be my girlfriend. She shouldn't be. She shouldn't. She shouldn't think the man is there to provide everything. In the sense that if you don't work, man, this is this is not the eighties. I'll provide for my ladies, no doubt. But she should have something that she can do to back up herself. She shouldn't frustrate. Like, don't get to the extent where you cannot even buy a single part for yourself. You feel me? Like, it's crazy. I don't blame it. Like, it's a good topic. Women should be attracted to men with money because we <laughs> ball. <laughs> yeah. The women should, but she, 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 the ladies should have something to do, like some money, some source of income for themselves. Don't just depend totally on the man. It's crazy. That's my own advice. Like, I'm not judging the ladies who need that money to, yeah, you know that way. But I just think they should have some source of income. Don't just depend on the man like that. Because when you get frustrated, it's crazy. You can tumble oh. up. That's All right, it. Ben. 
Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you for calling. And um, we have Ernest trying to connect. Let's see if we can bring Ernest on the screen. So uh, um, Ben is saying he doesn't blame a lady if she's attracted to a man who has money. It's actually normal. Everybody wants to have a good life. So he's like, yeah, that's fine. There's no problem. But the problem comes in when you don't have a little source of income yourself. You, the lady, that you don't have a source of income yourself. You depend 100% on that man. That's Ben. Hello, Ernest. Welcome. Hello, Tina. Good evening. Good evening. Well, you have you have what a lovely topic today, and I'm very very happy to be part of it. Uh, judging from from the topic itself, is is interesting. And if I can take us back a little bit into the into the Bible, you get the Bible says that women are a helping hand for a man. So when it gets now to our society where women depend solely fully, that's a problem because. How can you help a man where you only depend on his pocket? You need a body lotion, you go to your guy. You go to your boyfriend, I need a body lotion. Your toothpaste is done in the house, you ask your guy to get you a new one. So at a point in time, the relationship becomes boring because it's a one-way thing. In every relationship, it has to be a two, a two partner coming together to approve on what they want in life. So if you can't help a man out in his financial state or you're either trying to drain him, you find in one point in time he's going to leave you to get somebody who can at least assist him in one way or the other, because nowadays our girls or oh, all the ones is uh, need I need a financial boss. You get a girl of 24 years or 22 years or 18 years dating somebody of 40, 39, way above their age just because of what maybe her background is not strong that much. We don't blame them at all. It's our society today because if our government was more into the citizens we won't have cases like this nowadays that girls will go for our pockets rather than say oh i can create a job for myself or can do something to help my family or to help my my own situation so that whatever man that is coming to me would know hey this girl is already made and she's working hard so you getting alongside with her you're building a perfect family if you intend getting married to her but if you meet someone who is solely fully depending on you i bet you <laughs> You, you can you can actually build a relationship with that person because you need somebody who will give you brilliant ideas, maybe a business idea or a business venture, something that can help the two of you, not someone will come today, honey, I need 20,000 francs, honey, I need 50,000 francs. And you keep on giving the person the money, but she doesn't think like, okay, I can save some of this money and maybe probably open a little business that can help me should in case this person is not there tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, All right, and yeah. let's, let's see if we can take someone else. Uh, wow. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Everyone is trying to come on, come on camera. I'll try to take every single person. Queen says, work hard, make the, that money, everything will fall in place. Okay? Um, we have a Mrs. Nas says, Chai, so man, so man way he poor, no go get home and for the outside. This life don't be some kind no. Oh my god, I wish you guys are killing me today. We have more than 100 people connecting with us. It's amazing. 136 people are watching us right now. And let's take Bessling. Hello, Bessling. I am angry. I am very, very angry. Why are you angry? I say queen or queen or whoever they call you. What, the, what kind of mentality do you have? I refuse to be reduced to that level. Please, I refuse to be reduced to that level. I'm a woman, but I refuse to get to your level. You know why? I'm a boss chick. I take care of myself. I am independent. If you're coming to help me, if you want to help somebody, if you're carrying something and somebody comes to help you, the person does not remove the whole load on your head. The person gives you a helping hand means you were doing okay, something first. Junior. No. You were doing something first before the person came into your life. How can you reduce women to the level of your saying money for down, back for brown? I refuse to be reduced to that level. Mm -mm. Not me. I am not a liability. I am an asset in a man's life. I refuse to be a liability. If I'm coming into your life, I'm coming to add. I'm not coming to subtract. That yes. is what love is all about. 
I refuse to be a liability. No, uh, uh, uh. what this girl is just saying is making me so mad, really so mad. No man wants that type of woman in his or her life. A woman that is only there to take, 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 take. You never add. You never add any value. You're just there to take, take. Uh-uh. I am not that. I refuse. She's just one of the reasons why these men see women and say that materiality or all they want is money, money. It's not all about money. If you are a woman, you work, you earn your money. Before it comes, it's that you can take care of yourself very well, best. And whatever you is doing to you, just it should not be that you reduce women up to the level where you say money for down back for ground that is rubbish that is rubbish i refuse to go down to that level again mm -mm. Guys, I'm really sorry that the, it's raining outside, so it's it's raining outside, so mm -hmm. the condition is kind of acting up. Really sorry about that. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your opinion on today's topic? I'm good. Uh, yeah, it's very interesting. It's an interesting topic. I just want to to add a few things i think it's 2018 what each woman should be thinking of is what they bring into a relationship okay you you don't go about lazing around and looking for someone who, are, who is ready made i mean if you if you have that mentality as a lady the same way you get in is the way you you work out because there are two things in a relationship that i value much risk and sustainability for you to be respected in a relationship, you don't come in with, the, with, with that notion of that you're a liability. If you come into a relationship and, yeah. and you're, you're, you're self-made already, I think your man or your woman, both ways, your man or your woman is going to respect you so much. Okay? And you're not going to be, um, you're not going to be like a burden, a burden to, 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 to your spouse. You're going to be respected, and that way a relationship is going to, to last long and last forever. Okay, so okay. it is 2018. What each and every young girl should be thinking bring into a relationship. So prepare yourself. It's because the network is going really soft due to the the rain it's raining i don't know if you guys can hear that's why i've got to make sure so yeah conflict Can you get me? Yes. Yes. Okay. The topic is women. Men are responsible to take care of the lady. For me, I think that it's the duty of a man to take care of a woman. Because since the beginning, it has always been so. Reason why God made Adam before Eve. And it also taught us in the Bible that a woman has to contribute in a relationship. She should not come with the mentality of all it's taking. She has to contribute. That's why they tell her a virtuous woman is the one that gets up in the morning. She fights for a house. She fights for school for food. She works hard. It is written that she works hard. 
find ways to provide some to bring income. It means that if ladies today are just like money minded, we cannot make it. And the more we get with that mentality, the more we spoil the kids behind. You will not tell me that because you come from a poor background, you need to get it's true we are attracted to men with money, it's very important. But a lady should have a source of income, be independent. I wanna mean income, I don't mean going to follow the strategies because people should not make mistakes. You should do a, a, a work, a work, a work that any a lady girl wants. Yeah. If a woman has to fund her desire towards a man, but she also has to contribute, which is very important. Because I don't see a relationship with Stan that you're going in mentality for money. No, it doesn't work. What if the man does not have money to All pay? right. You will leave him. So that's what I'm just saying. Yeah. A woman work. A man needs to provide. Both of them are complementary. Final full stop. Okay. That is all Thank you. Say. Wow. Gra Grace Grace is just saying that. It's okay or it's 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 um, normal if a lady is more attracted to a man with money. But the key question now is, or the key thing now is, it's a complementary situation where it's a give and take. In as much as he's providing for you, you also need to bring in something on the table, bring something to the table, so you guys work as a team. That's what she's talking about. And uh, we have some people trying to connect again. Let's see if we can bring you guys. I don't know if you guys can hear me like well enough because I feel like it's raining. I don't know if you can hear me. But if you can hear me, all right. You can send the press the like button. So Open Call says, uh, preferring a guy who has money doesn't suggest that the woman won't do anything to supplement uh, his income. And uh, let's see. That Queen says, suffer married for 200 francs. Queen. If you can come on and come and give your own side of the story <laughs> with regards to what Best Day said earlier on, well, it's gonna be nice, but anyways, it's okay, no worries. <laughs> he went says, he go get a more, cause any Ben Ben pots get it cover. Check out the girls who say love is not uh, about uh, money, blah, blah, blah. I see a handful of them commenting. If you, are success if you successfully get one for your poor self, just know you are in heaven. All right, guys. All right. If you can hear me quite all right, just click the like button so I can know you hear me because it's really, really raining heavily outside. If you can click the cl click the like button, it will be awesome. So let's let's see. Uh, Queen says yes, dear. We have so many people watching us. Let's see if we can bring um, someone on. All right. So today's topic is going on super well. We're talking about why ladies tend to be more attracted to men that already have money. So we don't say that they are not attracted to men that don't have money. But the question is, why do they tend to go more towards men that have money? And uh, we've had so many people come to contribute and tell us that it's a normal thing for someone to want to go to a person who is already financially made and uh let's see if we can bring someone oh my god it's some all right colin says queen come online i want to really see you queen if i can bring you on you can give us your opinion <laughs> you can give us your opinion on uh, this topic because um Baseline said some few things that i don't want to repeat but <laughs> it was amazing if you can come on and uh, tell us Elisha says, hello, hello. I like the conversation today. And for me, I would say ladies are attracted to men with money because no lady on earth in this 21st century will want a man that has no money. Okay? Ernest says, I guess your line is bad as a result of the rain. Yeah. Elder says, we should work from one another. Where, my brother? What will I send to you? Eh? That's what Irene says. So, uh, Ernest is trying to come on again. Let me see if I can bring Ernest and let's see if we can... If the connection will allow us, I'm in Cameroon. Una, 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 just bear with me. This is just the country I find myself in. <laughs> so let's see. So I want you guys to uh, let's talk a little bit about what Grace said earlier on. Grace was talking about a partnership where it's normal for a man to provide for a lady because even the Bible says it that way. But she doesn't end there. She goes on to say that it's complimentary. It's a two-way street of I give you and you give me back. Hello, Ernest. Hello, please. I just <laughs> it's really funny getting what these ladies are saying. You should guys should stop being financial ladies and 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 be 
a helper to your guys and to your husband. Stop being a financial lady that you always expect and always to receive. And Tina, be proud of your country. Cameroon is the best place to be, okay? <laughs> no matter what we are going through now, it's the best place to be. So yeah. I just want to tell my, my ladies that, please, they should stop being the financial ladies that they claim to be. It's not by their character. It's just by the nature which they find themselves. They should go back to their character and discover that hidden talent in them that will make a happy home. All right, Ernest. Thank you. So Anna says um, the ladies should not should stop being financial women. Now financial woman be that girl. Relax. So <laughs> this girl had sang it uh, earlier on, so it's not even uh, something surprising. It's already an understandable thing for a lady to go more for go towards a man who has money more versus a man who doesn't have money. So everybody really wants to see Queen. If Queen is okay with people seeing her, come on, I'll bring you on to camera and you can defend yourself <laughs> based on what Beslin says. Okay, so let's read a few more comments. We see uh, Elder says. Um, um, yeah, we should work for one another. Irene says, Grace says, I must go to financial manual, but I will, I will contribute too. I must, I beg. So Grace is more of the opinion that, yeah, I will be tilted towards a man who has money. I won't lie. To, I won't lie. That's what she's saying. I, I will go more for a man who has money. But what makes me different from any other lady is that I won't just sit there and let him provide everything for me. I'm going to chip in. I'm going to contribute. I'm going to be part of his life. I'm going to support him, help him grow. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a win-win situation for everybody. You know, Genia says, uh, Miss Seth, I want to see Queen o. Um, Colin says, no woman on this earth will settle with a broke guy. So, Colin says, no woman on this earth will settle with a broke guy. My brothers, forget what that so-called boss lady said. This world in which we are, money supports everything. Okay? Colin says, some girls, them now, no, no, even, uh -huh. I cannot read that. Anna says, where is Queen O? <laughs> and Twee says, they are oftentimes, they are oftentimes not attracted to men with money, but to their money. This is very controversial. Okay? So to um, to Oben, he says the ladies are not attracted to the men. Actually, they're attracted to the money. Take away the money, they will not be attracted to the men. So that's what um, Oben is trying to say. Uh, Everybody is asking for Queen to come on. So I don't know where she's going to. Um, let's see. G. Collins says every even you to my name. Say Collins. Carl says what kind of women? Hello, Danjo. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Where are you calling us from? Italy. Oh, uh, awesome. So what's your opinion on today's topic? Uh, because uh, even me, I... I fall in the same trap. Because one Indeed. thing, I was falling with a guy. Yeah. Okay. I, I fall in love with a girl for quite a period of two years, doing everything for her. So later I know that the girl is cheating on me. While oh. when I give her the money, she will go and give the money to another boy. Okay. So. Oh my God. So while me, I, I think that she, yeah, I love only. Only she and she love me, only me. I used to buy things, do everything for her. Food stuff every two weeks. Telephone chain three months or whatever. Even I so helping her. But at the end of the day, she's just cheating on me, telling me lies whereby, I, because I'm a Gambian, the, guy, the girl is in Nigeria, maybe she's playing a game on me. So I see to a point I have to quit. Think about something else, which is not that. Wow. Wow. So are you with someone now? Are, are you wiser now? Or are you like scared of ladies now? How are you going about it now? Right now I'm thinking about my life. Because I'm not thinking about much about women now. Because now it is only to broke most of them. Most of them. Because just imagine when every only 15 or 16, 17, you give the party maybe 200, 300 euro. Take care of yourself. Do this every two weeks, full stuff. 
So all those things you think about it, at the end of the day, you don't have happiness. It's yeah. not correct. It's not normal. Wow. Not normal. So what, advice, what advice can you give your fellow partners out there who are around them because they have money? Hello? So we had Danjo, he's a Gambian based in Italy and he's calling us. He told us that he was in a relationship with a girl for two years and he provided for this lady from the word go, house rent, phones, money, money pocket allowance, you name it. And this lady was taking the money and giving it to another boyfriend. Yeah, it's not evil. That's crazy. So he did that over and over again and the lady was just giving it, siphoning the money to somebody else. And the person was just getting fat from his money. So, yeah. Right now, he says he's not dealing with ladies. He's just thinking about his life and making himself better. And uh, when he was about to um, give advice to our fellow brothers, his connection went berserk. So, Shkali says, Great Grace, could you please tell me what love is? Uh, Anna says, Why not the best lady for you on the way? So, let's connect with uh, Shkali. Hello, Collins. Can you yes, hear me? Yes, hello. How are you doing? Yeah, I can get you. Can you hear me? Yes. No, I'm fine, and you? I'm fine. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay. What I'm trying to say is this. this um, in this time in which we live in, there is nothing as love. Your connection, your connection is quite poor. Let's see if we can take um, another person. Okay, can we talk a little bit more about what happened to Gan 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 Ganjo, if I'm not co pronouncing it correctly? He's talking about a man like providing for a girl, and this girl still goes and gives it again to another guy. So the problem now is, let's talk about this financial lady. Let's talk about it properly. Mate is now is watching. The comments keep coming. I say, Mr. Collins, talk now. Let's see what. Let's see. So many people. You guys are confusing. Me. I don't even know what I wanted to say. <laughs> I don't even know what I wanted to say. The, the comments and the, the calls are coming in. Okay. So, as I was saying, men tend to provide for a lady. Let's talk about what Peter said. Peter said, when you love a lady, you don't even need to, the lady doesn't even need to ask you for something. You automatically provide for that lady because you are in love with the lady and because you guys started out the relationship on a good foot of love but then um talking about this my gambian viewer who loved this lady for two years i was providing for her non-stop and later on found out that she was giving the money to an, another lover who my who, who was broke definitely because from what from what we can see he was broke that's why he needed our gambian friend's money so what what at the end of the day, what do, they, what, what do they want? What do women want? Do they want to eat their cake and have it? Do they want a rich guy who gives them money and then a broke guy who maybe loves them better or something? Because from what he was, the way he was sounding, is like he did the right thing, what Queen would like, for example. He was providing and he was there for the lady and everything. So yeah, it's just a crazy world, isn't it? All right, let's take some comments. We have um, Mombela, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey. Hello. I mean, a lot of, a lot has been said, but, you know, what a relationship starts with love. The rest is just like to complement the relationship. Yep, everybody wants to be happy, and everybody wants somebody who can provide. And I've heard a lot of people say, you have to provide for the, for the woman. No. When you go into a relationship, you want to provide for your family. If it is marriage, you want to provide for the family, not for the woman. So I, I look at it like a woman has to go for a man with money, yep. But somebody who can provide for the family, not somebody who can provide for, for the lady. And if you go into a relationship because of money and there is no love and... After the fancy vacations, the cars and everything, what next? The love, the mission return, we come back and 
You're going to use that money now to buy love. You, yeah. the lady, will be going to use that money now to buy love because there was no love. There is no marriage, there is no relationship that will last without love. I've heard a lot of girls say, hey, when we go for the money, the love will come. The love is not going to be 100%. It will come maybe 50%. So in order to get a person that you will really love, you will use the money, go out there and buy the love. So I would just want to say hi to everybody and happy Sunday. Thank you so much, Mombela. Happy Sunday to you too. Okay, so Mombela says uh, the notion ladies have is like, you know what, I'm going to just go in for the money. And then off you, I'm going to the same French. As time goes by, I will love him. He says it's not possible. That a love might just come 50%, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be love, love, you see. So we have Great Grace watching us. We have uh, Madame Isona watching us. We have Colin saying, that girl no that girl in a wrong investment, bro. They're talking about our Gambian viewer. And it says, in, in Don Joe's case, that girl was never in love with him in the first place. We're still talking about a Gambian viewer. Your Gambian was a big mugu. <laughs> and it says, she was just using him to build up her home with the guy she loved. And Greg Grace says, how do you even kiss the guy without love? Chai. Okay. So let's see if we can still bring some people on while I'm taking some comments. Great Grace says that love will not come, I beg you. Hello, JR. Hi, yo, Bambi will not leave me rest. See, uh, I, want, I want to ask Gary something. There's this thing girls do where you're dating this guy who, you, according to you, you say he loves you, but he treats you poorly. Then there's this nice guy on the side who is asking you about every day. You don't send him away, but you keep him on the sideline as your boss guy. Why do people do it? That's like, another topic, JR. Don't start. I refuse to divert. I answers. <laughs> no, no, no. That's another topic we'll bring up. To my Piman Camp girls, all these girls who are looking for husband to give you money. Yeah? My sister, there are two things that will happen. You will fail miserably. One, <laughs> two, you will have SP and that. I'm telling you, I, I'm just giving my heart, my heart to you. <laughs> Jay, are you not serious? You see, you see, you see, see, let me tell you, I grew up in Limbe. I know all of this. I met a lot of girls who are around girls. Then why are they today? They're the ones shouting in church, receive it, receive it. You end up like them. You surely end up like them. Let me just tell you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Jay. <laughs> So JR is just giving like a shout out to the ladies who are like uh, Rums girls, girls that go towards <laughs> men with money more. Uh, and he says they need to be careful because eventually they're going to get STDs, they're going to get sick, they're going to get beaten up by their wives. You know, they're going to find themselves in very risky, risky situations. So please avoid such lifestyle. That's what JR is trying to say. So hopefully you guys, yeah, well, I'm just a moderator. I'm not saying <laughs> So let's see. Uh, we have Faison watching us. Hello. Thank you for connecting with us. And uh, we have um, Brutus watching us. Um, <laughs> we have Dominef watching us. Hello. Welcome to this live video. He is not far from the truth. That's what Hannah says. Hello, Anna. Uh, Anna, what's your opinion? Drop a comment. Tell him. Tell us exactly what your truth is, since his truth is not. Since his information is not far from the truth. Uh, Blanche says, "How money rules the uh, money rules the world? How can I ever trade money for love? This is not fair." Okay, that's Blanche. Um, Great Grace says, "True, I beg." Okay. Wow, 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 wow. We have so many people trying to come on and talk. Let's see if we can bring everyone on camera. Please, when I'm trying to connect with you, be next to your phone so you can accept it and we can quickly move on. So let's see if we can bring Besslin on. Besslin is trying to connect and come on camera. Jesus. <laughs> and come on camera to talk. Let's see. Woo! Today's topic is going on amazing. Let me give us a little remind, uh, reminder of what we're talking about today. We are looking at uh, why ladies and women to um, go more for men and money when it comes to choosing a life partner, when it comes to choosing a boyfriend, a man in their lives. They, they look at the financial aspect and be like, does he have money? Does he have a car? Does he have a job? 
where does he live? You see, that's what goes through your mind. And then eventually they go like, mm, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to go with you. So we have been talking and so many people have been saying it's not wrong for a girl to say she wants a man who is financially okay. Especially... Can you hear me? Yes. I want to comment based on the, the man that was calm. Because to me, that's calm. The, the man that said... Yeah, the Gambia, the Gambian, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's something with a relationship that we don't understand. A relationship, I take it to be something like a company. A company that two people invest in it. You invest emotions, you invest finance, you invest time, you invest energy, you invest everything. And in a case where you realize you're investing and the other party is only there to do withdrawals, you're supposed to know at that point that you're being abused. It is already supposed to ring a bell to you that you're being abused. In a relationship, two of you are... Guys, is it my video that is not clear or was it Bestlin's video that was not clear? Can you just write to me so I know what's happening? Is it that my video is not clear or is Bestlin's video not clear? If my video is clear, can you just like, just say it, that my video is clear, text or like or say something? So let's see if we can. Bestlin, I'm really sorry if you can try connecting again. I'll bring you on. Um, JR says company. So if business feel, if it drag, if it drag you for court, no. Grace says, I tell you, my sister is abused. Okay, okay. Grace says my video is clear. All right. So Bestlin, unfortunately, if you can come on again and continue what you were saying, I'm so sorry about that. Um, let's see. If we can bring someone on while we're waiting for Bestlin, we have like eight people trying to come on. When you are in the waiting room.